as promised, now we're going to start getting into the specifics of C++. So we have talked about the programming parts in general. Now we're going to get into specifically what these are in C++ so we can start writing some code. Um, so first of all, we've already, I've already talked about how keywords or reserved words are basically the vocabulary part of the vocabulary of the programming language. So these are the, I'm just going to say that these are the part of the vocabulary of the programming language. And programmers can't redefine their meaning. That's why these are called, that's why these are reserved. So you can't redefine the meaning of keywords. And so like I said, every, so most programming languages have keywords. And so let's, I want to show you where you can find a list of C++ keywords. So let me get out of this real quick. And so if we go to this, so if we go to this web page, so I'm at this page, this is, um, cppreference.com. So if you, you can go to this page. You can just search for cppreference.com in Google and you'll get this page. And so notice how this has, a, this is basically a reference for the C++ language. And you're not going to worry about it, most of this stuff right now, but it's good to know this is here so you can um, look things up as you continue your programming career. So what we're interested in is if you click on this link right here that says C++ keywords. So if I click on that, this gives a list of the reserved words in C++. So basically these are words that you can't redefine. You, like you, you'll get a compilation error if you try to redefine them. And one thing that's kind of interesting about C++ is that C++ actually has about 90 keywords. Java has 50, C has about 32, and Python has about 33. So there are really, so there, and there are a lot of keywords in C++ that are never really used. So don't worry about memorizing this list. You'll get familiar with these words, you'll get familiar with the ones that you use commonly, and then you'll just know what they are, and you won't, but if there's one that you're not sure, you can always go to this list and look it up. And so what I want to do is, this is the program that we had worked on in the lab. I'm hoping that by now you've started looking at that lab, but this is if you haven't, then you'll get to it. But this is basically the Hello World program. And so all this does is it prints out Hello World to the console. So let's just verify that that's what it does. So what I'm going to do is compile this program. And I'm just going to call the executable Hello. So then we're going to do backslash hello. So see how this just prints hello world to the console. So this is a program I'm going to be kind of referring to as I go through some of these um, specific things in a C++ program. So what we're interested in right now are the keywords. So the specific keywords in this program are using, int, and return. So we can go verify those on this list. So um, there's using, there's int, and there's return. So you'll like like I said, don't worry about memorizing this list, but just be familiar with it and kind of know where to find it. So if you're not sure if something is a keyword, you can look it up. And one thing that I do want to point out is notice that because this is kind of weird. So notice that include main right here, C out. These aren't keywords. Like these aren't on this list anywhere. So 
basically these are identifiers. Like these are program programmer defined identifiers. The only difference is you're not the one who has defined them, but a different programmer has defined them at some time, and now we just use them. So just keep that in just keep that in mind. And if you're ever unsure if something's a keyword, know where to find this list so you can look it up.